if I could only keep one bag, which one would it be? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello, I'm Danny, and I am finally doing this tag today. So it is the one bag tag. Now, thank you to the following creators who tagged me to do this video. They are Mary from Lumi Level Up, Jetrin from Javinci, Eva from Fuchsia Floyd, Jane from Jane Church, and Flo from Flow in the City. Thank you so much, guys, for tagging me to do this video. Normally, we would credit the creator of the tag video as well, but I haven't been able to find out who that is. I'm so sorry if you created the tag. Please leave me a comment if you did. Now, when I heard about this topic, rarely is something ever so extreme. So I was wondering what the conditions were. Does it actually have to be a bag that's currently in my collection? Or can it be a bag that is aspirational and one day when I acquire it, it could be my only handbag? Does it have to be a bag that I have to continue using if it's in awful condition? Or is it a bag that I can replace, but I just have to buy the same bag back again? Is it just one luxury handbag or are contemporary bags included in this category? Meaning if I keep a contemporary bag, I'm not allowed to keep a luxury handbag. Or does it mean that I can have you know, as many contemporary bags as I want, plus the one luxury handbag. Uh, I've gone ahead and picked a bag that will fulfill all these different criteria. So the first bag I'm gonna show you is this one over here. So it's a coach dust bag. And if you follow my channel, I think no surprises which bag will be in here. And it is my Coach Cassie. This is a regular Cassie that's been discontinued. I will pick this bag if it has to be in my current collection and I can only keep one handbag. So if I keep that bag, I don't get to keep a luxury handbag either. But in terms of replaceability of this bag, it's not that replaceable because Coach has discontinued it. So if I wanted to, I would have to hunt for it on the pre-loved market. <laughs> I absolutely love this bag, especially this one that is the mixed leather and canvas. And that's because the canvas makes the bag extremely lightweight. I think it is a great everyday bag because of its function. So as you can see, it does have a strap that's completely detachable, so I can put any strap on it that I want. So if I wanted to dress it up a little bit, say for an evening event, I could put a shoulder strap on it so that it's a short shoulder strap. On the back, it has a functional back pocket. It fits my phone in there, so that's just absolutely awesome. I love turn locks as I said before and it's got great organization as well it's got three compartments and it carries a whole lot so yeah if I really only could keep one bag in my collection it will be the coach Cassie I guess if I really only had this bag for a formal event maybe I'll just carry my phone or wear something with pockets I don't know <laughs> okay so I'm just going to take the rest of the bags out of their dust bags now and that will just make sense in a minute Ta -da! so i've taken out all the other bags from their dust bags so i've got my chanel classic flap over here my hermes birkin 25 and my hermes kelly 32 over here so i've presented in a previous video that my holy grail bags are my classic flap my birkin 25 and an hermes kelly the lady dior is also on my holy grail list of bags but you know, if I could only choose one bag, like seriously, the Lady Dior would not be on that list at all. It's just too cumbersome and too heavy. And that's why she's not sitting on this couch. <laughs> so in the next scenario, if I could keep a contemporary bag and I could keep a luxury handbag, it will be one out of these three over here. So out of these three luxury handbags, if I have to choose one, it would be my Chanel Classic Flap. Ah. Uh, did that surprise you? Because, you know, I'm actually a bigger Hermes fan compared to Chanel, but out of these three bags, I do think that the Chanel Classic Flap is the most versatile in terms of aesthetics and function. It is a very classic looking bag. It is very elegant. It's very ladylike. At the same time, it is very versatile as well. It is these straps that I think that give it the most advantage in a sense that you can convert it from a, a double short shoulder strap to a long shoulder strap or a long crossbody strap. I'm very short. I'm five foot or 152 centimeters. So for me, these strap drops are, I guess, okay. I would prefer it to be longer, but they're still okay. And because it's such a classic bag, it will transcend time. If I'm wearing this in 20 years time, it will still be relevant and completely timeless. Sorry guys. <laughs> So between these three bags, if I could only choose one of these three, yeah, I, I would choose the Chanel Classic Flap. <laughs> this is also on condition that I can go ahead and purchase a new Classic Flap once this one is really banged up because as we all know, Chanel bags don't last forever. I better be really rich. <laughs> 
Now moving on to the next scenario where I am only allowed to choose one bag from my collection. I am allowed to keep a contemporary bag plus a luxury handbag and that's literally the one bag that I have to wear for the rest of my life and I'm not allowed to replace it. I would obviously be going for an Hermes bag and that's why these two bags are out here. Now can you guess which one I would go for? Between the Birkin and the Kelly, I do generally prefer the function of the Kelly. But between these two bags, if I could only really keep one, I would be going for my Birkin. <laughs> um, and that's for a few reasons. Mine here is the Birkin 25 in the Retorn style, so the relaxed style where the stitching is on the inside. And this color is geranium and it comes with gold hardware. This one over here is a Kelly 32, again in the Retorn style. The the colour here is Rose Jaipur and she comes with gold hardware. The leather is Clemence. So between these two, um, oh wow, they're beautiful bags. <laughs> Now, the reason I would pick the Birkin 25, although I'm predominantly a Kelly girl, is because, you know, bearing in mind that I can only pick bags from my collection. The Kelly 32 is larger and therefore I think less versatile. The Birkin 25, although is a relatively smaller bag when you just look at it front on, um, can actually carry quite a lot. But this size, which is the 25, I think is a more versatile size than a 32. So that's the reason why I would pick the Birkin 25. I also think that red is a more classic color compared to a bright pink. Therefore, in terms of fashion and aesthetics, this bag would be more versatile from the point of view of using it in the daytime and then having it transition to nighttime. Now, yes, it is a handheld bag. For me, I can just fit my hand through it and I can get it to sort of near the crook of my arm but not completely so from that point of view it is inconvenient but there are hacks in order to convert this to a shoulder bag so there are these loops on etsy that you can apply on the sangles so that you can attach a long shoulder strap however hermes has also come up with a harness for the birkin so if i keep this bag there are options available to me in terms of making it more user friendly now the reason i would pick the Birkin instead of the Chanel Classic Flap is obviously because I can get it sparred by Hermes. So if I'm not allowed to buy a new bag when the bag is really worn, obviously I'll go for Hermes because they can spar my bag and make it look good for the rest of my life with it. <laughs> now I guess I've already hinted that if I could really only choose one bag and have that one bag for the rest of my life, that bag is not actually in my collection at the moment. It is aspirational. I haven't got that bag. <laughs> Right now, I don't see a need to purchase that bag because in reality, I'm allowed to have multiple bags to serve different functions. But truly, if I could only have one bag in my collection, it would be the Hermes Kelly 28. Now, in terms of the Hermes Kelly 28, the closest thing that I have to it is a dupe. This is from Etsy, so it's not an Hermes bag, but it is just that slightly smaller than the Kelly 32. The numbers indicate the length of the bag. So a Kelly 32 means this is 32 centimeters down the bottom, and a Kelly 28 is 28 centimeters in length down the bottom so you can see that the 28 is just that much shorter in length as well as in height and I do think that this size is much more versatile from the point of view of using it as a day bag as well as a nighttime bag and what Kelly 28 would I get oh my gosh like and obviously since I'm dreaming in this tag the ultimate bag that I would have would probably be an Hermes special order I don't know what leather I would get, maybe Epsom or Togo, I'm not really sure. I want two colours on it. I would want the outside to be a sort of a creamy colour like Baton, Cray or Nata. And I want the sides uh, to be like a neutralish pink, like maybe a mauve Sylvester or something along those lines. And the hardware, I'd probably go for gold because my general preference is for gold hardware on my handbags. Although I prefer to wear silver jewelry, I do prefer gold on my handbags. And the reason I wouldn't mind it in the light color is because, you know, it's an Hermes bag. I'll take it back to the spa over and over again to get it uh, refreshed. I would say that combination would be relatively neutral. I know there's a little bit of pink around it, but having said that, if I could only have one bag and I had one Hermes bag, I would adjust the rest of my wardrobe to it. <laughs>
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch another tag video, I am going to link one over here. For all the creators that tagged me to do this video, I've linked their videos in the description box below. Go ahead and check them out as well. And I'm going to try and see who else hasn't done this tag and I'm going to go ahead and tag you too. So please check out the description box to see if you're there or not. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!